what is up you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel for another nail tutorial in this video i'm going to show you guys how i make my gel x tips last up to four weeks let's go ahead and jump into some prep i'm going to start by applying a cuticle softener by sally hansen and pushing my cuticles back prep is key if you want your nails to last you have to push those cuticles back and make sure nothing is left on your nail bed to interfere with the adherence of your tips to your nails Now trimming your cuticles is optional. If you don't wanna do this part, you don't have to. Just make sure you're pushing them back and that they're not on your nail bed when you go to apply your tips. I do like trimming mine because mine overgrows so much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and nip mine here. So today I'm going to be using the Gel X Natural Almond Medium Size Tips. I've already selected all of my sizes. I'm going to go in and customize a few of them because you want to make sure that they fit your nail shape perfectly and that they fit sidewall to sidewall. So go in and shape them and customize them if needed. You want to make sure you etch the inside of the tips either with a file or with your primer. You just want to make sure the inside is etched. This is going to increase the adherence and longevity of the nails and keep them from popping off prematurely. So I'm going to go in with the pH bonder, which is a dehydrator. You can also use alcohol or acetone for this step if you don't have a dehydrator. You just want to make sure you dehydrate your nails and follow that up with a primer. Do not skip primer. This is going to help your nails last much longer. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of the Extend Gel to all of my nails. And then I'm going to fully cure that for 60 seconds. So I'm going to be using the Extend Gel again to apply all of my tips. I'm just going to put a little bit of gel on the back of the tip and then scrape off the excess so that there's enough gel to cover the entire nail bed. And then I'm going to apply these. Um, so I like to press down and apply just until the gel reaches the end of my natural nail. Then I stop applying pressure and flash cure this for about 10 seconds. So I'm going to do that same thing with the other four nails. I'm going to leave this in the video real time so you guys see how long it actually takes to apply these nails. So of course, once I've flash cured all of them, I do go into my larger lamp and do a full cure for 60 seconds. But this process is really quick. It doesn't take long at all, which is why this is my favorite type of nail enhancement.
So this is what the nails look like once they've all been applied. I'm just going to do a full 60 second cure in my larger lamp. So I did get a little bit of gel that came out on the sides of a couple of my nails. So I'm going to remove that. You can use a hand file. You can use an e-file. Today I'm just going to snip that off with a pair of cuticle nippers. Not the same ones I try my cuticles with. Um, just an old pair that I've had for a while. I'm just going to take that and snip off the excess gel. So now I'm going to go in with this 5-in-1 bit from Panna that I got from Amazon. I'm going to go around the nails to make sure there's no gel left on the nails. Also to kind of seal the cuticles a bit so that there's a nice flush transition. I never skip this step. I do switch up the bits that I use sometimes, but I always do this step whenever I do my nails just to make sure everything looks smooth and there's a nice transition. I'm just going to go in and reshape the nails a little bit. Um, there's not much that has to be done in terms of shaping the nails, but I do go around the free edge just to make sure everything is shaped to my liking. So next I'm going to take away the shine with a buffing block. This helps the adherence of the gel polish that we're going to apply. So for my base color, I'm actually going to be using an Extend Gel from Apray in the color Carla. This is actually an Extend Gel that you can use to apply your tips, but I love this color so much, I like applying it as a base. So that's what we're going to use today, but feel free to go in with your favorite nude gel polish for this step. So I'm going to be using a little bit of acetone on a flat brush just to clean up any of the excess that leaks onto the skin. You want to make sure you clean this off before you cure. You do not want to cure any gel on your skin. So I'm going to go in and apply a second layer of that um, nude polish in Carla just so that I get the opacity that I like. And again, I'm going to go in with acetone to remove any of that gel that leaked on the skin. You never want to cure gel on your skin. You want to make sure you're removing all of that before you cure your nails. 
So I'm going to be using this color in Love Bond that was sent to me from Madame Glam. This is a really pretty, bright, pinky coral color. I do have several other shades that were sent to me, and I do need to record a swatch video for those. But this is the one I decided to use today. And I'm going to be applying this with this liner brush from Madame Glam that I got from Amazon. So this is kind of an odd or distorted type of French design. So I'm just going to draw an uneven line across the lower portion of my nail and then fill it in. So after curing the gel polish, I'm going to go in and outline it with this nail liner from McCart in the color Champagne Pop. This is such a pretty champagne gold color. So we're just going to do an outline on all of the nails using this gel liner. After curing the gel liner, I'm going to go in with this non wipe top coat from a prey and do a full 60 second cure afterwards. And finally, you cannot skip the cuticle oil. The one I'm applying today is from Madame Glam. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to all of my nails and rub it in. And this is the finished product, you guys. If you follow these steps, your nails will last. I rarely ever have any issues with longevity for my nails and they usually stay on until I'm ready to take them off. So if you're having problems with your gel X nails lasting, follow the tips in this video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. 
talk to you later. Bye.